What a crowd, what a crowd. You see what's going on in the road all the way up here. We have people all the way up. I'll tell you. It was never like that for the last administration, they tell me. You know, I'll ask the guys that happened to be with me. They were with the last one, too. They don't say much. But I said, was it like that? They said, sir, nothing was like that. Nothing. It was never like that. And they've got the Trump signs and the flags and the American flags all over. We have the biggest rallies in the history of politics. There's nobody has rallies like this. Look at that. Look at the people. Now, look. I mean, you can't see this. This goes all the way back so you can't even see how far back. You can't, I can't even see the end of it. We have the greatest enthusiasm, the biggest crowds in the history of politics. And they don't talk about them. They'll say, yes, there were a smattering, a smattering of people. That's true. I asked the First Lady, how did you like it? It was good. Were there many people there? I said, a lot. Didn't they show it? No, they don't show it. They just showed your face. They never go. She said, but I could hear it, you know? When you go to a Georgia football game when they're doing well, you can't imitate you can't imitate thousands and thousands of people with hundreds of people. I mean, Biden had a rally today. Like, 13 people showed up, and they don't talk about it. They say, 
Biden is here. The one guy actually made a mistake. He called him Sleepy Joe. He's an announcer. That, that guy's job is gone. But Vice President Biden is here today. He's making a speech on the environment. He has no idea what he's talking about. They don't say that there's nobody there. You know, he's got the circles, right? The circles. Do you ever see? He's got like five circles. And he goes there, and, and people are standing. And the reason that — and the circles, not only are they big, although I love the artistry, because the guy really does a nice job. You know, I'm into that stuff. So. It's very neat, very round, beautiful, solid. I mean, it would be impossible to catch anything if you're in one of those circles, because you're so far away. It's like — but I never joke about it. I mean, I don't think it's necessary for Sleepy Joe to constantly — you know, he walks onto a stage, the people are — number one, there's no people there. And the few people that are there are like, what, 50 yards away? And the mask is always so large, you know, it's like covers the whole thing. I shouldn't, I shouldn't joke. joke. I shouldn't joke. Because you know what? Running against the worst candidate in the history of presidential politics puts pressure on me. Could you imagine if I lose my whole life? What am I going to do? I'm going to say, I lost to the worst candidate in the history of politics. I'm not going to feel so good. Maybe I'll have to leave the country. I don't know. <laughs> Biden will deliver pessimism, poverty, and decline. Our nation will decline very seriously. And again, he's been doing this for 47 years. He said, why didn't Trump move faster? Well, when I put in the ban on China, because they were heavily infected, and then Europe shortly thereafter, Biden called me xenophobic. I said, tell me what it means, Joe. Please tell me. I want you to know. He was unable to define it. They wrote it down. Xenophobic. But — and he called me a racist, I think, because it was so early. Now time goes by, and he said, he should have done it earlier. He should have done it earlier. But he was months behind me, remember? He thought it was terrible that we closed down to China. And Fauci said — and he said very nicely — he said, Trump saved thousands of lives by making that decision. And to be honest, I was, like, just about the only one that wanted to do it. Joe Biden would terminate our recovery, delay the vaccine, prolong the pandemic, and annihilate Georgia's economy. And you're doing a great job, and you have a governor that's working hard, and he's doing a great job. I don't even know if he's here, but he's working hard and he's doing a great job. We're going to find out. And you've got a great first lady. And we're working to safely reopen their schools. Reopen the schools. Get those schools open all over our country. It's so bad. You know, Barron, right? Barron tested positive, my son. I said, are you OK? Yeah, I'm OK. Like, about two seconds later, how's he doing? Oh, he's OK now, sir. Because they have a great immune system, I guess. Who the hell knows? I mean, they have an immune system. 99-point-nine-something percent, right? They're young and they're strong. I mean, for this particular disease, the flu, they have problems with young children. Real problems. Real, real death problems. But for this, it's 99-point-nine-nine-something. I mean, it's, like, incredible. But, no, Barron tested positive. The First Lady's doing great. She's doing great. She's doing a great job. And she didn't do the Regeneron thing. You know, she, she did it the old-fashioned way. She just got better. But Barron, you know, Barron, young kid, healthy kid, but he tested positive. And by the time I got to speak to the doctor the next time, it was like, how's he doing, doc? He's OK now, sir. He's gone. I said, it's gone that quick? But this is what happens. And then you're immune. It could be a long time. Yeah, Barron, everyone loves Barron. Do you think he's tall enough? He's a tall, young guy, but he's doing good. But, you know, it's an amazing thing, the children. That's why they have to get back to school. We have to protect our seniors very much. We have to protect our seniors, and that's what we're doing. But we have to protect our seniors. We have to protect certain groups, especially our seniors where they have a heart problem or they have a diabetes problem. But we got to get our businesses open. Now, in your case, your governor was very early. He did a great job. But you look at what's happened. You look at what's happened in New York. You look at what's happening in Michigan. We won the case. You know, the court ruled it was unconstitutional. She was keeping everybody, like, in prison, except her husband. She was keeping everybody — no, she was keeping everybody in prison. 
But Biden will close your classrooms, and you know that. He actually said the other day he'll follow science, he'll find. So that means if Fauci says close it up, he's going to close up the country, it's not going to happen. It's not going to happen. And if you look at the numbers, the numbers are great. And we're going to go over that. He wants to throw your children out of the school, close up your schools, and shut down your workplace. And we're now setting records for employment, unemployment. We're setting all sorts of records economically. Europe, which has imposed punishing, punishing, horrible, really strong lockdowns, is now experiencing a massive surge in cases. You know, the fake news would say, well, look at Europe. I said, we're doing better than Europe, but now Europe is exploding. And they'll be okay, but they're exploding. Biden's plan will crush America. My plan will crush the virus, and America will be stronger than ever before. Political. Through Operation Warp Speed, we will have 100 million vaccine doses before the end of the year, and maybe substantially before that. The vaccine will end the pandemic once and for all, and they hate it when I say it. We've got the vaccine. It's really looking great. Numerous companies, Johnson & Johnson, Moderna, Pfizer, great. Others, too. Many companies, all of them, they're great. But you know what? Without the vaccine, it's ending, too. We're rounding the turn. It's ending without the vaccine. But the vaccine's going to make it go quicker. Let's get rid of it. We want to get it the hell out of here. We will uphold religious liberty, free speech, and the right to keep and bear arms. Second Amendment. We will strike down terrorists who threaten our citizens, and we will keep America out of these absolutely ridiculous, endless foreign wars. Our troops are coming home. We will maintain America's unrivaled military might, and we will ensure peace through security, and we will always protect patients with pre-existing conditions. So important. America will land the first woman on the moon, and the United States will be the first nation to land an astronaut on Mars. And that's moving along rapidly. And we will stop the radical indoctrination of our students and restore patriotic education to our schools. We will teach our children to love our country, honor our history, and always respect our great American flag. And we will live by the timeless words of our national motto, in God we trust, in God we trust.